Make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And to never miss another lecture from Miracle, hit the bell icon to get regular updates on English literature. Oh, as I was young and easy in the mercy of his means, time held me green and dying, though I sang in the chains like the sea. Hello and welcome to Miracle English Language and Literature Institute. I am Professor Abha Sharma and today I am going to take up uh, Dylan Thomas' very famous poem, Fern Hill. He was a Welsh poet and this poem was published in 1946. When young, he used to visit his aunt uh, in summers during the vacations. And there he uh, saw many hills covered with the fern trees. From there, the poem has taken the name Fern Hill. The poem is constructed of six stanzas. The first three are about uh, his childhood. When the childhood is carefree, young, green, when the passions are new and uh, one wants to discover the surroundings. So he begins with saying that he was young and easy under the apple boughs, above the lilting house and happy as the grass was green. Grass was green. This green is a symbol of youth. Youth means he young he was a child he had that enthusiasm uh, he had that curiosity to know things around him he used to run and play carelessly without any tensions without being bothered so the house was lilting the house had the sound of the child you know when the children are there in any of the house you hear the laughter the singing and uh, there's a lot of life there. But when all have grown up, you will find a great difference in the same house. When the children, they grow up as adults, then it is totally a different atmosphere. So same thing he's saying Then when he used to play around, he used to sing. And then he used to go in the fields of daisies and uh, barley and there was a river and he calls his days as the golden days golden days hey and he was growing as the grass as the hay and he was careless he had no troubles no worries no thoughts of uh, pains and miseries so he's quite happy time allowed him to be happy time gave him all the freedom to run around and just we himself discover new things of nature. This is time which allows us. As we grow older, time starts putting up chains. We get into the chains of the time. He says that time held him green and plain. He was in the mercy of the time. He was young. He ran around. Definitely he mentions that sun is uh, young once only. That means the youth doesn't come again and again. It is just once. And if you live it completely, that's your life. Otherwise, time changes. And from your, you age so soon that you hardly realize that you have missed those hay days, those green days, those young days. He says that he was very famous among the barns and the hills. The animals responded to his call. They became very friendly. Uh, he was friendly with the domestic animals and also with the wild animals. Whether it was uh, a cow or a wolf 
all the animals they responded and they became used to him because he used to visit the fields very often and during the nights also uh, he could hear them uh, moving with the ricks the birds making and all the nocturnal birds uh, which uh, wake up in the night he was very much aware with the winning of the horses and the other animals he became so acquainted with their movement that he became one of them one of nature but then after some time he grew because he says that sun was young once only so moon after moon or say sun after sun he became an adult from a child suddenly the field which was experiencing the child had an adult suddenly that means the time makes you grow the time ages you you are always in the mercy of the time whether it is day or night everything goes according to the time to through the circle of time so he mentions that at one time he had so much of passions his grass was green that means his passions were new and they were full of full intensity and today everything is lost the field has lost that same child he is not to be seen there anymore because the child has grown up into an adult when he was young he felt so energetic and uh, thought that the world is created just today it was a new morning the morning which was for, made by god after a simple light this is the morning when the adam and eve took birth it was so new but gradually it changed into a matured world where he also changed into from a boy to an adult man with full of responsibilities and other things to bother him when he was young he was a herdsman and a huntsman all the calves nodded to his tune and the wolves responded to his hunting calls but today all is lost he doesn't find the same interest or enthusiasm doing the things which he used to do as a child this sun came every day that means it grew older and older day by day and with the sun the child also grew up into an adult and his wishes his desires they also increased a lot he became more materialistic as the days passed on and therefore the two images a church the image of the childhood and the image of the adulthood they became so different from each other this was very natural this was uh, this amalgamated with the nature so well but this was an alien to nature this was full of selfish interest so he says that from a little boy he grew up into a selfish adult who was bounded by so many things that he was no more free to do all those things which he did when he was a child in all the tuneful turning so few and such morning songs before the children green and golden follow him out of grace the children who were playing according to the time they all grew out of tune out of grace they all aged they have all lost their lamb white days see there are so many things lamb lamb innocence they lost their innocence because the sun bore over and over again now the time has gone away from the field also time held him green and time is making him die he is moving towards his death gradually with all the desires all those animal instincts all the materialistic life he's lost the innocence of a child we can compare this poem to andrew marvels to his poem mistress that at my back i always hear time's chariot rushing by time is very cruel 
time doesn't leave anyone. Therefore, joy, happiness, youth, beauty, all are transitory in nature. Nobody remains beautiful forever. Nobody remains young forever. Everyone, everything has to, has an end. So, and we are all in the mercy of time. So he's bounded like the sea. As the sea is being captured by the different harbors, still it flows, still it has the ripples. Therefore, man is also bounded, captured by time. Still he has the instincts to live and to live in. So the first part is full of happiness, full of childhood memories. And the second one is of how uh, he changed into an adult, the transition period and the adulthood and the sadness accompanying, the uh, worries and pains accompanying this phase. So these are two different phases, one is childhood and the other is adulthood. This stage is totally free, carefree, green, full of passions and this one is full of desires, materialistic lives and ultimately this will lead to death. So these two phases are very beautifully narrated with lots of nature imagery. If you like my effort, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Also hit the bell button to get all the regular updates. Till I take my next poem. Take care. Thank you so much.